Yeah, I mean, you, you sort of don't replace a, a guy like Neil. I think um, the qualities that he brings are quite unique, but you um, bring in, a, uh, I guess, a, a guy that targets slightly different areas, coming from um, a slightly different height as well, and, uh, you know, really exciting opportunity for, for Kyle Jamison. Yeah, I mean, he's bowled really nicely um, in the in the one-day um, arena, and so it's great that, you know, he's come into the fold and obviously... Uh, a different, um, I guess, set of strengths to someone like Neil Wagner, um, but you know, at the same time, I think we saw in the in the the white ball formats as well, the T20s and the one days, that having a number of guys out did provide opportunities for guys to come in and and grow as cricketers at the highest level. So um, it should be uh, yeah, a really exciting opportunity for Kyle. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I think you're just forever trying to improve your game, adapt your game to to the conditions and, and obviously in Australia without a doubt wanted uh, more runs personally but ultimately wanted more runs to try and help the team um, get themselves into better positions and that's that's always the focus and we come back to New Zealand where the conditions are, are different again so it's probably more adapting to what's in front of you versus I guess um, analysing too much of what's gone but at the same time um, there are always opportunities to learn from those things to, to improve as a player so um, those would be the, the main focuses. Oh, to be honest I hadn't thought too much about that um, like I say I suppose going over to Aussie and, and um, touching on the last point is just coming back to, to what's important to our team um, and we know that whenever you play India in any format they're a, a really tough challenge anywhere in the world so uh, you know that they're going to um, bring a high level of competition as they always do but for us it is the most important thing to keep coming back connecting to what's really important to our cricket as a team the style of cricket that's allowed us to have success over a, a period of time and that's like I say those small steps obviously Virat's the best or, or one of um, without a doubt in all formats um, but they're a quality side. Um, I think they've, they're leading the, the Test Championship, um, and you know there's a reason for it. They've they've got so many quality batsmen in their lineup, and they've got a, a world class bowling attack as well. So you certainly don't just focus on one player. Um, and I, I guess that brings us back to the focus on our own team's approach. Yeah, a lot, like a lot of differences, um, I suppose, and the conditions being the, the first one. But as you say, India have a, a world-class side, a, a world-class pace attack um, that have performed in, in all conditions. So a uh, really exciting opportunity for, for our team. Um, but once again, it's, it's trying to assess the conditions as best we can and commit to our own plans, um, which... You know, ultimately gives us the best chance of, of good results. So it is peeling it back. Um, obviously, off coming coming uh, back here from Australia, um, back into Test cricket, I know the guys are really looking forward to, to getting into it, but it's taking some learnings from that, but in some ways trying to keep peeling back the style of cricket that we play here in New Zealand and, and connect with that again. We go quite a long way back, really, to, uh, to under-19s and... Um, played against each other in, in different competitions as well, obviously the international arena and, um, and the IPL, um, and always uh, admired Virat um, for, in a lot of ways, setting benchmarks in the international game, which uh, was pretty obvious with the standards that he sets, but that yeah, was really interesting the, the other day to sort of sit down and have a, a quiet chat um, on the outfield and share you know, a lot of thoughts that that we had and a lot of sort of similar views on the game and, and slightly different um, approaches which um, was really refreshing but but quite inspiring as well from a guy that is um, well very inspiring from a guy that's leading the way um, and is tenacious and his competitive attitude but um, his outlook on on the game and and what he does in and around it um, yeah is, a, is like I say an admirable thing. Yeah, it's an interesting one because I guess there is an element to that that, that isn't fair, but I suppose there is a, an effort in bringing context to, to test cricket that wasn't there. So, I mean, the test championship is definitely a, a step in the right direction. Um, not perfect, but I, I'm sure that after the, 
the first year or two of it, um, there will always be efforts to continue to make it um, a better product. But it is good that it is a, a step in the right direction. But as you say, there's, there's so many parts um, to it that, um, you know, some teams playing five, some teams playing two, the, the different countries, that there's just heaps of different parts to it that, that don't perhaps make the, the, the points um, of equal measure. But um, like I say, we've all signed up to it. We're all keen to, to see how it unfolds, um, and I'm sure it'll develop over time.